Hi, I'm Kenneth Weidsta. I'm a professional photographer here in Colorado and welcome to another one of my photography talks. Today I'm going to talk about a photographer. So I'm a big fan of the online photographer blog, which is uh, pretty much a five day a week blog where Mike Johnston writes about photography and different aspects of photography. And, and he recently mentioned somebody who he thinks is probably who he would like to be if he were another photographer who is known. And it was somebody I never heard of, so I looked him up. And the photographer is Henry Wessel. And, and I like his work. And it's one of those things where he's another one of the photographers who goes around and shoots mundane things, but because of his vision of them, they turn into something. And he sees ordinariness and he composes it. And through that composition, he's able to actually create little stories. And, some of his photos work because they are older and to this current generation, finding them online, it's a little step back in time. And that's why we should be shooting those ordinary things today with the life that's around us because it's similar. The stuff that we're seeing today that we don't even notice because it's so ordinary will be extraordinary in 50 years. And we have to shoot that. But I like the fact that you know, you meet photographers and you find out who, who influences you or who do you emulate? And that was a new find for me. So I don't know his name until I read about him through Mike. And I like that um, we're always finding new photographers. We're always learning about new people. And, and it's a fascinating thing. Like, I think that when I look at some of the work that these photographers have done, they really have done it as a result of applying for grants. I think it was he who I looked up who, in his portfolio, he applied for National Endowment of the Arts grants and he applied for Guggenheim grants and, and he got them. And, you know, I think if we want to be outside of our studio, move to the next level and be in a place where we can have gallery shows, we can have museum shows, we have to get a body of work that is created for some place that is willing to put some money behind it so that you can go out and just create that and create it in depth. So if you have a project that you want to do on LGBT in some way that is uniquely a vision of your own, but you need time and you need to cross the country to do it, and you got that grant, because somebody else believed in you, it may help you get that work into a gallery or into a museum. And I watch these photographers and I look at their um, resume or CV, whatever they call them, and I find it to be fascinating that they're all very much involved in grants and I think that's important and that's a new avenue I think that we as photographers, as we grow, we have to pursue. You can apply for an NEA grant, I can apply for one, same thing with Guggenheim, and why not? Do you have a project that you want to do? There's nobody better to do a project that is your passion project than you because Nobody who else who doesn't believe in it can do it like you can. And I, I challenge all of us to, you know, research those grants. There's other smaller grants that aren't as well known, but they still give money to projects. Those projects help get products made and those products are, be, are what become his, you know, famous photographer is a product of him working and continuing to work and finding a way to keep making that work and grants often make that happen. All right, I'll put some links to Henry's work below and that's my dad's name too. And we will talk soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying these, hit the subscribe button and we'll talk some more. Thanks so much.